Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Trisha, and I'm excited to share another great DIY idea with you, which is a jewelry display case. I know for me, I am guilty of laying my jewelry on the counter and not storing it away in a safe place because I didn't have one. If you are doing the same thing, this is a great project for you. So let's make one. To start off, you're gonna need three frames from the Dollar Tree. I use these eight by 10 frames. And if you don't have a Dollar Tree, you can always go to your craft store. First, we're going to remove all the contents inside the frame. Next, you want to remove the frame tabs using pliers. Afterwards, I went outside and spray painted my frames, but I didn't show it on camera. But if you like the color of the frame as is, you can skip this step. While my frames are outside drying, I'm going to take the frame backing and trace it on a piece of foam board. As an alternative, you can use poster board. Using my X-Acto knife, I'm going to cut along the line that I just traced. For the bottom of my display case, I wanted to use this pretty marble contact paper that I had. So first I'm going to unroll it and trace an outline of the foam board. Then take my scissors and cut it out. Next, separate the backing and contact paper only on one side and then stick the exposing side of the contact paper on the foam board. Using a card, smooth out the contact paper while slowly removing the backing. This helps remove any bubbles. Next, I'm going to add a bead of hot glue on the inside of the frame. Then attach the backing. To ensure the backing stays intact, I'm going to add another bead of glue on top of the backing. Next, I'm going to add some more hot glue on the front of the backing and then attach the foam board on top. Next, I'm going to add E6000 to the top of the frame, then attach another frame on top. Now take out your third frame. I'm going to glue and screw on this cute little handle that I found at Hobby Lobby. I'm sure you're probably like, why is she gluing it on and then screwing it in? Um, so I found that it was so much easier to glue on the handle first and then add the screws later because those screws are just so small to manage. Now I'm going to glue and screw on a lock set that I also purchased from Hobby Lobby. First you want to glue and screw one side of the lock set to the frame that will act as your door. Then the other side of the lock set to the display base. Now I'm going to glue and screw three hinges on the opposite side of the handle. I place the hinge at the top, middle, and bottom side of the display. To finish the frame door, I added a bead of E6000 along the inside of the frame door. Then I placed the glass inside. And to make sure it was really secure, I added another bead of hot glue on the top side of the glass. If I did this project over again, I would have only used the hot glue on the inside of the frame because the E6000 darkened my beautiful metallic paint. Now I'm placing the display door on top and connecting the bottom part of the hinges to the base. Here's a tip. I use one of those one step hangers to make a small hole where I'm going to add screws. If you're not familiar with these hangers, they help hold artwork on the wall. But you can always use a push pin if you don't have one. Do you notice the little feet on the side? Well, I thought I was gonna be able to use it as a stand, but it just didn't work out. When I set the stand up, it looked like it was tipping over. Definitely didn't want that. I decided to use the display for my necklaces, so I'm adding a couple of clear mini command strips on one side. And last but not least, add your jewelry. Now that you know how to make one, you can store away your precious items in a better place. It's so pretty to look at. So what do you guys think? Are you gonna make one? Thanks guys for watching. If you like this video and would like to see more, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. It's free. Also, let's connect on Instagram. I'm at Designs by Tricia. I would love to share your work, so tag me. And I'm on Facebook now at I'm Trisha J, where I give commentary on my videos and share other ideas with you.